How much room do you have left over on your GoPro? 20 minutes, but I could delete something. We are walking on, where is it? An ancient terrace. And these are the archeological remains of large, a large agriculture complex that was once thriving in a community. They built us a house. We've got the wrinkly finger plant, according to Brandon. Someone said we looked like tourists, or <laughs> not tourists? No, travel guides. Travel guides on the front of a magazine cover. I haven't been showing you, but there are chickens everywhere. Here's a rooster. Just driving in this land. Oh, that's a little skinny. That looks like ginger. Where? Oh, like a ginger root? Yeah. I wonder if it is. It might be. Or maybe like ginseng. What's ginseng? Another root. We're going up the trail. Yeah. We're drinking our macadamia nut coffee. And I'm brown. <laughs> and we are at the Lima Huli Garden. Say hi to Lola. Hello, Lola. <laughs> Wow, look at the above. Oh, there's a bee here? I don't know if bees come out when it rains. You're not supposed to do that. You have to go back to the home. Oh, look at this. Wow. I'm not sure if it's this plant, but I know that one of the plants that has these kinds of roots, they go always in the direction of, of water, the roots, and, mm. they, and they move over time. I think I've heard of trees doing that in general. Like people say the trees are alive. I yeah. like how the fungus uh, grows in the direction of light. Yeah. And this river is the um, Lima Huli stream. It's not a river, it's a stream. Lima Huli stream. Wow, that's so beautiful. We just did a little five minute breathing meditation, just of silence and absorbing the environment. Yeah, the way that these grow is very interesting. Yeah. It almost looks like a little hut being built, you know? A lot of the plants were from the Polynesians. Well, look at this one. It's almost telling us what direction to go. Wow, I like the way this one looks. It's pretty. Kind of lizard? Mm. Right there, on that leaf. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh. That's an interesting lizard. 
Wow, Leo, look. I'm gonna show Leo our vlog when we get back. Or when she's awake. I'm going back to sleep. That's awesome. I was saying I really like this, the way this plant looks. Mm. Eat the seeds and severely impact. Wow. What? The, a lot of the palms are going extinct because the rats eat the. Uh, oh, what the? <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh. oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Hi. Oh, will you hold this? I'm gonna take a picture. Brandon's doing a little wave report from right here. Mm -hmm. Isn't it crazy that you get like plummeted and thrashed and just beat up right here on the shore, but then you go out like a little bit more, there's just like nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder if they're breaking nicely though too. They are. They're it looks like they don't like barely. go for too long though. Yeah, that's true. Just a little bit. Like that one would be a good left. The one that's closest to us. Yeah, yeah. but it's, they're breaking on shore. Yeah. See how close they are. Yeah. Yeah. Can get this Lola, we're talking about how you loved playing Farmville because you grew up on a farm. That makes the most sense. With the ocean behind me and my coffee in my left hand still hot, we get to look at all the natives in landscaping. Brando, look at this. I saw. What is it? Oh man, I'd pay to hear you say that again. And this icon for the conservation movement in Hawaii is now extinct in the wild, remaining only in cultivation. What? This is the only time I'm going to see this? Brano, I like it so much. Oh, there's another one. Wow, this just, I like just this whole little thing of land. Imagine having lunch up here. I know. We should have brought breakfast. Well, I have some leaving moist strips. I'm okay. We get a little video of me eating my leaving moist strip? Yeah. Okay, here. Oh, another lizard. Where? It's in the crack. Oh. Its tail was cut. Oh. It's okay, it grows back. I'm gonna enjoy my leaving moist strip. You just tap it to look at it. Brandon was talking about how it'd be nice if we had lunch up here, but we don't have lunch, so we're having, I'm having, this. <laughs> One's enough for now. Shout out to the Dacashos for introducing me to these. I found them at the store. 
I'm bringing you home some little packets, even though you probably have some already. I think this is my favorite part. This section up here. Yeah. Because you get to see everything. And it's so open. This tree that has fruit on it is really pretty. Yeah, I wonder what kind of fruit it is. Did you read it? What? Did you read what kind of fruit it was? No, it seems right next to that. Oh. I wonder if it's like dirty or something. Dirty? Kind of almost looks like, um, Pineapple, a tiny bit, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Lava rock. Did we come up that way? Hmm? Did we come up that way? This is the trail. Uh, I don't know if we came up that way. I don't think we did. <clears throat> Be careful, it's slippery. They did a really good job on these steps, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look, I see the little, I see the entrance. This is the bench that we were looking at when we first came here. Wow, you can see where we started. Look at where We're making our way back.
Brandon, say something. <laughs> we found a cave. Goes pretty deep. Ceiling's not too far above us. There's a lot of little cobwebs. Like a something cave. A dry cave. A dry cave. You can like really hear the water. Yeah, when you're in there. Okay. I like how quiet it is in there. Yeah, it says do not touch me your stack rocks. There was something about stacking rocks that is like frowned upon mm. by some no. places. I feel like this would scare me. Uh, yeah, it's like the cave. Yeah, probably claustrophobic, and then it's just like, you know, small. Like all the lizard friends I found, I made it on top of a rock. But it's a little hard. Whoa, that's cool. The boys are still surfing. And this is a tiny rock. It's scary because everywhere else around me is rock. So if I fall, it'll probably really hurt. But it's worth a shot for my baby. The sun is out. And Brandon keeps getting plummeted in the set. <laughs> He's been there for about maybe five minutes in that, that same spot. And Ian's just over here safe in the, in the float zone, looking at Brandon, wondering where, where he is and where he's going and when he's coming. Oh, look, the set's gone. He's good, he can go out now. There's also a lot of reef over here. This is where he stepped on a sea urchin yesterday, so. I'm very proud of him for not being traumatized to a point where he doesn't want to go back out. I wanted you all to see the hard work I am putting into taking these photos and videos. They may not be perfect, but they're taken with love. So please understand that. I see a waterfall.
God, Brando. Brando, no. Oh, man. Did he make it? Did he make it? He made it! I see a waterfall. I can see nothing. I found something. I found a little reef right down here. I was like, what is that? It's a little reef. Okay. Pretty close to it. Definitely pulled me back, like a good amount, but I'm making it back now. Do I want to know? Maybe not. Maybe not right now. But we're going back. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
a video. Oh! I think he saw a whole new. Those are called booby birds. Wow. Booby? Yeah, booby. B O booby. -B -B Yesterday I found this snail in the gutter of our pool, and so I took it out. I don't know if it was going to be alive still, but it is. It's actually huge. I don't know if you can see. Let's see. It's like, it's actually giant. We are at Sushi Girl Hawaii. Look at that. Jen, do you want rice and salad with the poke bowl or just rice? Just rice, please. We ordered Sushi Girl. Jen ordered the poke action. We got some musubis. And I got this cute Dooney and Berg bag uh, yeah. from the thrift store. I always get lucky and find one. Finish up on my iPad. And what's your name? Uh, Brandon. Brandon? I think you need a bunch of toys. <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna dip it. Ian, and then you're gonna on. have a bite. But it's stapled. Yeah. Ooh, mm -hmm. show me your masubi. Um, How's it? <laughs> cool. Good. Delicious. Did it say prickly guys and strange? Did you finish your sandbar? One last time, this is our nice little front yard. And that's a wrap for our trip. 
my little 360 outside the house. Brandon and I are actually going to go on a little walk around the neighborhood before we go to the airport. There's a wild horse. Hi, baby. Hi. Yeah. Who's a good horsey? Who's a good horsey? Good horsey. Good horsey. You going on a walk? We're going on a walk too.